there's bad enough how many visual gags we have. Right. <laughs> hey, people that see some of our cool. visual gags. <laughs> you know what we need to do now? What? Extra sensory gags on a video podcast. I there's have like not five people laughing right now. Right food for that. What? I said I have not eaten the right food for that. Mm, That's still sensory. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You know, like that old classic. All the telekinetics in the audience, please raise my hand. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah. Can you hear anything? No. You'd freak out if it weren't true. Right. Well, all the telekinetics in the audience, please raise my hand. Holy shit! <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> check, check, Mike. Yeah, Make sure we are not going through the computer. Oh. Check it all. <laughs> yeah. Do those Sometimes we uh, accidentally record through the laptop instead of oh. through the microphones. Yeah. 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 This is past master. It's been past. I've done it a couple times, and it's. Uh, all right. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was the other thing I did with the Patreon because mm -hmm. if we get people that are giving us some money for it, we can do things like get the screens. Yeah. We can get the screens. But I would like scissor uh, mounts. Yeah. But we can just get things slowly because we yeah. people like it's like a dollar an episode? That's really not much. No. And while it does come out to four bucks a month, it's fifty two dollars a year. True. In theory. In theory. And people can limit how much they put in. If they can say, you know, I'll be a Patreon forever or I'll be a Patreon for dollar at a, a maximum of four hours a month. Yeah, yeah, they can set monthly caps. Right. Very important to monthly cap. Uh, but if you just do that and have it be sort of, here's this place, okay, you're a Patreon, now here's a list of all of our files. You can just download whatever you want, wherever you want. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I like the idea, I just have to figure out how to make it work. Um, I would look at Google Docs, or no, Dropbox. With the Dropbox, you can just put all oh, the files yeah. in and mm -hmm. download them in front of whatever. You can no, also link care. to your website, too. Wherever you have them now, you can just link to it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Alright. But that would give us all the files and everything, so we can just... You know, all... Like, like Pokemon. Like Pokemon. You gotta catch them all in the episodes of Lake Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> And then at some point we'll have some rich Hollywood producer type come and say they want to buy our idea. And then we'll be like, great, we'd love to do this for money. And we'll be like, ah, we want to buy the idea. <laughs> right. It's <laughs> actually right. not you. It's all right. great except for you. We'll fix we, that part. We love, we love, we love you guys, and we want to keep all of you. But by all of you, we mean Bernadette. Right. We love, we love <laughs> right. everything about the everything. It's, it's just perfect. We just need one or two small changes. One or two tiny changes. One or two tiny things that don't really make a difference. One or two tiny changes. We want to uh, change Rob and Joe. <laughs> right. um, just, just little changes. We want to change them to other people. Right. Funnier people. <laughs> Better looking people. Yes. Marketable people. Marketable. Mar Things to play with. You guys are what we call TV ugly. Right? Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're great for radio. Yep. You guys well have things for an audio podcast. Po podcast. But, but right. that's why we do an audio podcast. <laughs> um, um, remember with the button that you are representing the audience. Okay, so if I see something that, even if I know what it means, you so it might not know what it means. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, just technical information, if you don't talk right into the microphone, if you don't pick it up, it doesn't quite come back. So you gotta talk right there. Yeah. So. Um, but don't actually put it in your mouth because you do not know where that thing is going. I can you guess where it's been it. and that's all I need to know. Well, no. There's my microphone, and then there's your microphone, but that's good. Or just probably okay. Out of respect to her. I don't know what kind of things you guys did when you were engaged. Being 
we do some weird shit to celebrate. <laughs> no, that's a good point. Okay, how's it smell? <laughs> uh, okay. Mine smells funny. They don't really clean well, so I trust that if it smells fine, it is fine. Yeah. yeah. Um. What? Uh. Okay. So we're doing westerns. Yeah. What are we doing? Oh, uh, talking to die. Yeah. Uh, we'll so, here. so we'll do that in the cool Yeah. Uh, the only deep fight that's coming to mind off the top of my head is the Battle of Dark Highlands. And uh, Dark Highlands. <laughs> no, spoiler alert. You, you, you can think of a better Dark Highlands than Dark Highlands. Uh, you played him in Night Down in the Final Ten? I don't know. Was it, was it, was it, was it Andy Martin? Ooh. Aha, bitch! He still loses to me. Mm, does he, though? Yes. Lee Marvin, Lee, you're suggesting Lee Marvin loses Ooh. to Point Break? Oh, wait, no, that's In that so role, you could argue it, but Lee Marvin is like King of Cleave. Right? Yes, but... Because Lee Van Cleave would be no fucking contest. Yeah, then Lee Van Cleave, absolutely. Yes. Or we could just do single best cowboy game shootout. Because mm -hmm. um, then we can talk quick in the dead also. Uh, what uh, was, and what was the Clint Eastwood one? Uh, Unforgiven. Yes! Uh, uh, do you have any kind of nerdy styles? Is there anything about the nerdy world that you look at and you go, what the fuck? Would no, you mean, like, I mean, what the fuck, like, how do people enjoy that, or? Well, what is it? What is the, like, not... Wow. Not where you look at it and you go, I don't understand how to think Pretty much any it. anime that's not... But anything you look at you, Ghibli, and I'm, you go, I don't understand this thing. Yeah, I don't understand, like, because I've seen a couple of animes, they have, like, no storyline and no... I don't understand how it's a thing that people watch. Except possibly I can do, but it just doesn't seem to like have a, have a narrative arc like I'm used to in Western oh, storylines. Most, most anime does have a lot of storylines. Right. I just wonder if it's like, yeah, I wonder if it's like, is it, is it different cues that yeah, I'm not getting because I'm not familiar with anime or Japanese culture, or is it just that they don't give a fuck about the same kind of storyline plots that we give a fuck yeah, about? Yeah, no, they, they do not give a fuck about the same storyline yeah, plots that yeah. we give a fuck yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, it, there's a lot of cultural it's, differences. Yeah, there's so different, I'm sure they have different continuity cues. So we can do that for American Stop. We could. I mean, we're also talking to guys who really need to. But there are a couple of anime stuff that are like, like, Katsuo! That one. Katsuo. From Akira. Uh, Akira. I've never seen Akira. I have a list, I have a list uh, of cult movies that I'm covering. And Akira is on the list. Nice. It, it, is, list. it is a great movie that makes very little sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah my yeah. first, my first uh, tentacle porn was accidental anime. You're like, oh, it's anime, it's gonna be cool! We've seen Akira. <laughs> And then we were like, what the fuck did you get? <laughs> My favorites are the ones that have, uh, like, where you, there's some weird scene of bizarre sexual act that you forget is there because it's so not important to the plot. Right, you're showing to someone, like, Oh, you mean, yeah. like, hey, Mom, uh, this one's cool. the tree scene in Evil Dead? Yeah. Yeah. Or in Ninja Scroll, there's, like, two or three scenes. There's one scene where a guy just keeps fingering his girl. And, and it turns out that she's like poisonous. And that's her thing, is that she was like the royal poison tester and has had so much poison that she's now poisonous herself. Yeah. And so, so when the one guy who turns into rock um, spends time, like, not, I think it's not even having sex with her. It's like he is sucking on her like a lollipop. Because like, the size difference is so ridiculous. <laughs> Neat. And then later on, he ends up dying. So this is why you watch more anime. Um, and <laughs> another one where it's, where it's the dude who just does things like is like licking her and fingers her and all, and then ends up dying from the poison. And it's like that's just, what a way to go. It's like that's just weird. And you can't really leave it out. You can't leave it out because it's too. It's, it's integral to the plot. One of them, it's how the main villain, how one of the main villains gets killed. Mm -hmm. Another one, it's how you explain why the guy who's basically invulnerable is able to be killed because he's also dying of poison and so that's how the guy kills him. Gotcha. Uh, mm -hmm. And 
but so you can't really do it without in turning off my uh, notifications from that. You can't really do it without like you do it without that. But they're also like, what the fuck is that? Why is that there? <laughs> right. It's important plot device, Granny. And Ninja Scroll otherwise is this awesome badass movie with so much cool fighting and everything. But then there's these two random scenes in there. Huh. I don't think I just don't know. Okay. I've tried. Anything else besides that? Anyway, that no, no, no. You're doing a great really. job at that because you just like, like you just did. Hold. <laughs> just did. <laughs> okay. Right. Alright, so our nerd mentality would be about what's the deal with anime? Yeah. Yeah, if you want. Sure. Right, so. so we'll start with uh, who are you and who are you and what are you doing in our house? I don't know why that started. It's just it's a thing. <laughs> Who are you? And what <laughs> are you doing fun. here? Yeah. I'm waiting for How to deal with the most common questions like who are you and what are you doing here? <laughs> uh Android training manuals. You're gonna tell me when we start because I don't know. I know. Uh, you'll you'll actually know what we're yeah, yeah, you'll know what we're It's it's really, really noticeable. Like yeah. I keep it on the radio voice. No. I, well, well, I mean, well, we do the actual intro to the show. I was sure if you did the yeah. intro live or if it was a thing. No, 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 we do the intro uh, live every show. Yeah. It's something like, uh, hey everybody and welcome to Late to the Party, an unreliable guide to geekdom with your host.